Hi there, Virgo. How are you? We're doing your twin flame love reading, Virgo, sun, moon, and rising in Virgo. This is your twin flame love reading for the month of August. Let's see. We're going to take a look at your thoughts, your twin's thoughts, emotionally, energetically. Where do the both of you find yourselves this month of August? And uh, what is motivating you? What is motivating your twin? Let's see motivating them as in uh, what is uh, influencing their behavior for example their thoughts let's see virgo sun moon and rising virgo this is a twin flame love reading virgo sun moon and rising in virgo we're going to start with you virgo what thoughts are you entertaining we're going to find out let's see virgo Sun, moon, and rising in Virgo. Let's see, let's see, Virgo. All right, one more shuffle and we're going to get started. <clears throat> Virgo, let's see what's up there. The Six of Cups, look at that. The Six of Cups represents the past, reflecting what's back there, Virgo. There's something that has you reminiscing feeling nostalgic six of cups the past is of significance for you let's see what about your twin what are they thinking about what thoughts are they entertaining virgo we have the high priestess the High Priestess represents the unknown, hidden knowledge. So, I feel like your twin this month of August, they don't have all the answers uh, to all the questions that uh, are presenting themselves right now. The High Priestess represents the Divine, so they could be experiencing a lot of synchronicities, for example. 333-222-1111, right? Things that they cannot explain. The High Priestess, hyphened intuition, noticing things that they didn't before. This spiritual connection, this twin flame relationship will show you things that you've never seen before, right? And that is what they are experiencing this August. Let's see. I'm hearing lost. I feel that this is a common energy, mutual energy for the both of you. Not really knowing the way things are going to unfold. Continue here. Let's see. Let's see, Virgo. Emotionally, energetically, in your heart space, where are you? These are a whole lot of cards here. Let's put these back in. Whatever needs to come out will come out. So... Let's see. We have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is a twin flame card. Thinking about your twin very strongly. Feeling them this month of August. Feeling a very strong magnetic connection. Even if you're not with them physically. You, you feel your twin and they feel you very strongly. Let's see. Two of Cups. Where do they find themselves energetically? In their heart. Let's see. Did you see that? Four of Cups. So not doing so well, not feeling complete, emotionally unfulfilled, something's missing here. Feeling like they don't have enough. And I say that because I see a rat here, right? In this deck, there's a rat. And the word that came to mind is greedy. Feeling like uh, what I'm hearing is uh, a bottomless pit here, right? Feeling like no matter all no matter what they do right uh it's not enough here for them no ma no matter what right is around them how they try to this is in their house heart space so no matter what they try to do to bring happiness into their life for example it's not it's not happening 
a bottomless pit here in their heart. Let's see. Let's clarify this Four of Cups. Lacking answers. Let's see. Let's see, here we go. These two cards wanted to come out. We have the Six of Wands and then we have the Eight of Wands. So the Six of Wands represents accomplishment, victory, triumph. So I feel like your twin, right? They're trying to accomplish something right now. Strongly feel is that they're just trying to uh, feel something. I'm feeling this numbness here when it comes to them. I feel that they're trying very hard to get out of this. Whatever it is that they're going through, Six of Wands, right? And they're hoping here for movement, right? In the right direction progress uh, six of uh, wands so I feel like they're doing a lot to fill this void in their heart let's see let's clarify this two of cups for you two of cups although we don't really have to clarify that we know what that means let's see Let's see, let's see. We have the moon. This is Cancer. This is Pisces here, the moon. So, I feel for you. Virgo, you're feeling uneasy here. There's a sense of mystery in the air, not knowing, having to trust time. For the both of you, you're stuck here reflecting on the past, uh, Virgo, and uh, holding on here to whatever's back there in your twin. I feel that uh, they're trying to get over the past here, doing everything that they can to, to free themselves to accomplish this. But uh, they don't really know how to do that. The moon card represents a trial period, confronting your fears, things uh, coming forward, emotions coming forward this August for you, Virgo, that are very difficult to understand. Let's clarify the Six of Cups. For many of you, Virgo, stuck down memory lane. We have the Father of Pentacles. There could be another Earth sign here of significance. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see. What is motivating you? What is motivating you? The Ace of Cups. Love. Your heart. Strong emotions. Reconciliation as well, harmony, uh, Ace of Cups. Let's see. What about your twin? What is motivating them? What is motivating them? Let's see, Virgo. What is motivating your twin? Here we go. Son of Cups. There could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here of significance. Let's see. Son of Cups, love as well, communication, action, action here for them more so. Let's see, what is the Son of Cups? We have the Son of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, there could be a air sign here of significance. I feel that what is motivating your twin is a head-to-heart decision here. You see this air represents thought, communication, the mind. 
and the Sun of Cups represents the heart emotions. So you see these, and it looks like they're. Uh, you see how this uh, Sun of Swords is uh, looks like it, uh, it's going uh, straight directly uh, into uh, this uh, Swan's uh, chest in a way, like wants to kill it, right? So having a hard time here with their thoughts and their emotions, not really knowing uh, what to do, being very much conflicted here. Let's see. This is what is motivating them. Conflicting emotions. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups. Love for you. There you go. Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, security, stability within this relationship in life in general. It's a very big focus for you, specifically finding this stability right in this connection. Working on that, trying to regain trust here. Whatever it takes to have a happy outcome here. I feel like your twin with the High Priestess, they're uh, a little in the dark this month of August. Let's see. What is the culmination of energies? The culmination of energies here for the month of August is the star. This is Aquarius, uh, the star. Hope. Having hope, the both of you. Let's see. The star. Hoping, wishing for better days. Things will get better. I am remaining positive. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Let's see. We have the nine of swords worry difficult times here whatever it is that the both of you are uh, going through there's a dilemma here and a lot of anxiety revolving uh, whatever's up uh, for questioning for example here this nine of swords and the star card but remaining hopeful that is the culmination of energies there is hope here Stay, remain positive, the both of you, right? That is uh, the outcome here for for August. Here we go. Let's see. I'm going to shuffle these cards. I'm going to give you the opportunity to choose a number, a card from one to three. So think about a number right now as I shuffle. Let's see. I'm going to choose the cards. This is one, this is two, and this is three. For those of you that are not ready, please pause the video. And for those of you that are, let's continue. Number one is pay attention to the red flags. These signs are cautioning you. Two, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Three, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Look at that. This is what I have for you, Virgo. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. It was my honor and my pleasure. See you next time. Bye, Virgo.